Hey guys, welcome to Feature Junkie. My name is Ed and thank you guys for joining me today. If this is your first time here, well welcome. This is Feature Junkie where we talk all things movies, TV shows, streaming, all that really great stuff. And today we'll be talking about the new movie, Orphan First Kill, directed by William Brent Bell, starring Isabella Furman, Julia Stiles, Rusa Sutherland, and Matthew Finlan. Right now IMDb has this movie rated as a 6.1 out of 10, Rotten Tomatoes has this as a 71%, and Metacritic has this as a 53 out of 100. I've got a few things to say about this movie, but before we get into it, if you could leave a like and subscribe down below, I'd greatly appreciate it. Now let's get into the plot courtesy of IMDb. Esther's terrifying saga continues in this thrilling prequel to the original and shocking horror hit, Orphan. After orchestrating a brilliant escape from the Estonian psychiatric facility, Esther travels to America impersonating the missing daughter of a wealthy family. Yet an unexpected twist arises that pits her against a mother who will protect her family from a murderous child at any cost. So like the plot just said, this is a prequel to The Orphan. If I were to describe this movie as another one, I would say The Amen, mainly because Julia Stiles is also in that movie and she has a deranged child as well and she ends up falling off a high story structure in her own home. Overall, I thought the movie was okay. I didn't think it was really anything special about it. The chemistry between the family was a little off for me. I thought it was weird how you have a missing child for all these years and the only person that really cared or seemed to care from the beginning was the father. They do explain a little later on in the film of why he's the only person that cares about the girl. Um, but I think there should have been at least a little transition period, I guess you would say, um, or at least act like there's a transition period of caring about this person into finally what goes on later on in the film. For a majority of the movie, I just found myself coasting through it. Um, I thought it was gonna be like a carbon copy remake of the first movie. However, there was a big plot twist that I didn't see coming at all, and that actually intrigued me a lot. Um, the twist does have you siding with Esther though, which kind of sort of defeats the purpose of making her the main antagonist. But the way they do it is really cool and I really liked it. Um, I just wish they would have waited a little bit longer in the film to reveal the big twist because after the twist happened, I felt myself once again just coasting through the film. I did enjoy the way they brought back some things from the first film, like the way she learns how to use the glowing paint, um, her obsession with the neck and wrist covers, and her obsession with men. They say in this film that her usual tactic is to fake being the kid and then stealing the money and jewelry, and then she goes on her way. I think this is the first time where she changes her mind, and instead of going that route, she decides to stay. So her motives of why she stays instead of leaving in the film are pretty clear, but it's pretty bad to still do that, you know? So when she made the first film, she was only 11 years old, and now she's actually 23 years old, and I heard they tried to do some de-aging tactics to her. However, besides her height, everything else was a little bit unnoticeable of a difference, like she looked 23 years old. I still think it was a decent prequel, but I feel like this movie came out 10 years too late. The plot twist was really good, but the acting was mad, the story was alright, but overall, I wasn't really feeling the same about this film as I did for the first one. So I'm gonna have to say this is a slightly not recommend for me. But I wanna hear from you guys if you've seen it and what are your thoughts on this movie. Leave those thoughts in the comments down below. And if you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe, and hit that notification icon down below so you know when I'm going live or dropping new content. And I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me here today here on Feature Junkie.